Hey folks, it's Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel. This is the first part in our playlist for the house renovation. So make sure you subscribe and you stay tuned for more parts to follow as we continue our renovation and construction journey on the new place. Now I wanted the first video to be a before and really to be before we started any kind of construction or work, but the contractors came one day earlier. So you're looking now at one day into the actual demolition. So let me walk you through what they actually were able to get done in the one day. So here in the living room and the dining room, all they've really done is they've removed uh, the baseboards here and they spend the majority of their time in the kitchen where they've removed all the cabinetry. They've started to demolish the uh, tile floors. They've also um, opened this wall up at my request because I wanted to see how this is framed because this wall is coming out and all initial kind of signs point to this being a non-load bearing wall. But you can see at the very top here, so over here, it's got a um, double header, so two pieces of wood. So we're not gonna chance it, we're actually gonna bring in an engineer just to confirm. So that's gonna stay put for now. So they've done that. Uh, over here, they haven't really done anything in the family room except for They've done some protection on the fireplace that's there and the baseboards. So I'll, I'll talk more about what this is in a second. So they haven't done much here. On this side, they've removed all the really old and crappy flooring. So you can see that. They made a lot of progress here in the ensuite washroom. So they've gone ahead and they've completely destroyed everything minus the sink but you can see they've actually removed the tub, they removed all the drywall, all the tiles. So they made a lot of progress over here. Um, and then as we continue, you can also see what they've done in the other washroom. So over here, they've also removed the tub and everything and this is where all of that insulation is from. Here we used to have a small bulkhead, so it was kind of like down to here. So they've removed that to give us the full height and a lot of insulation fell out from the ceiling. So something like, like this in that area. So the contractors have bagged it all up and they're going to keep it for later when they'll put it back in the attic. So you can see one day of work has done this much so far. And what I'll do is because I want to show you how everything looked beforehand, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the computer and I'll walk you through some before pictures along with uh, what really our renovation plans are. And especially right now in the time of COVID, I guess, are we still in COVID? Well, I suppose if you ask contractors, we are. Everything is just taking so much longer. So I suspect this is going to be a six to seven month kind of journey here. So hopefully if you're watching it now, you're watching it at the very end where it's all coming together back to back and it seems like a very simple process, but I expect it will not be that. Let's start with the before pictures. Here you're looking at the original kitchen. This is the kitchen from a different um, angle. So the, the prior picture we were standing here, now we're standing here. So this is the eat in kitchen area. This is the family room. So the kitchen is on this side. So right over here beyond this opening is the kitchen. This is the family room. Here we've got uh, the living room, the dining room, and you can see the prior owner has started to do their packing up. So this is um, kind of right before the closing. Here's the foyer. So you come in these doors, foyer area. This is the living room. Oh, this one. So uh, we noticed that um, the cold room, which is right underneath the porch. So above here is the front porch. Uh, when it would rain, we'd get some water coming in. So we've noticed this uh, before closing. So we took some pictures to, to see what exactly was going on there. And we realized, or I guess at this point in time, the suspicion was that it was coming through this huge crack in the concrete step. Because it just seemed like it was right underneath here. So more to come as you kind of progress through the different um, vlogs, but that's what we thought it was. 
All right, let me switch over to the drawings and I'll show you what we're planning on doing here. Let me start with the existing plan. So this is how uh, the house was set up prior to us doing any kind of renovations. So you can see here foyer, living room, dining room. That's the kitchen and that's the family room. You can see here we have stairs going down. We have a guest washroom. A little bit with a weird design, you can come in through this washroom and get to the uh, bedroom hallway. So it's like a guest washroom plus the washroom for these two uh, bedrooms. Bedroom one, bedroom two, you have the master bedroom. And the master bedroom has a his and hers closet and you've got ensuite here. So that was prior to us doing anything. Oh, and also here you've got a pantry which we realized that this pantry here used to be where the washer and dryer were previously, but those were moved down to the basement by the prior owner. But this is how it was set up. So it is a bungalow, so single level only. All right, let me show you what the intent is for the renovation and how we're trying to modify this for a more kind of uh, you know, 2022 sort of expectation of life. Now you're looking at the finished schedule. So this is how the house should look like uh, once everything's all done. And our design firm went ahead and just did some furniture placement for um, visibility and just for us to see the scale of everything. But I'll walk you through what the main changes are. So foyer, it's more just like finishing, so tile and uh, paint and so forth. Uh, we can see the flooring all throughout is hardwood here. Nothing really changed with the living room, nothing really changed with the dining room. Uh, the kitchen and the family room is where we have the biggest change. So the first change here is this opening is made wider. And also we have these barn doors, so we can close these barn doors to give us privacy between the formal living space and more of the casual living space. You have a, a eat-in over here, so the eat-in is switched. It used to be here, now it's here. Uh, we went ahead also and completely redesigned the kitchen. So the kitchen used to be like this over here. Now it's along this whole wall. We went ahead and closed off this uh, window. So a little bit uh, counterintuitive. We went back and forth with the design for many times. We just didn't like the idea of closing a window, but this window is looking at the neighbor's house. So not really any kind of uh, view. A little bit of light did come in. So the intent is we're getting more light by opening this up, but we're giving up some light here. Uh, then here we have an island, we have our family room. So way better flow and more of an open concept on this side. So that's the biggest change. Nothing happened here. Uh, the guest washroom, more again, just finishings being changed into the primary or, or the master bedroom. So we went ahead and completely redesigned the closets. So the pantry that was here now joins to give us a walk-in closet here. That little other closet, the his and hers, one part of it becomes a shoe closet for a woman girl. The ensuite gets completely redesigned. It used to be about this big. We remove the tub, we put a shower, we put in dual sinks. So really this moves into this space here and this also moves into that space here. So this is how it should look like once everything is done. So that wraps up part one of our renovation vlog. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for many, many more parts to come as we progress through this journey.